Hello, um, and welcome to my back to school night video. I am Miss Hadfield, and this video is for sociology. Um, just a little bit of background about me. So um, again, I am, my name is Miss Hadfield. I am the sociology teacher and also the honors US history teacher at Woodson. I have been at Woodson for seven years and eight years in the county. I have a master's in blended and online learning from George Mason University. And um, my email you can see at the bottom. Um, just a little bit of background about me. So I actually grew up in Utah and I've been in the area for about 10 years now. Um, when I was in college, I had the opportunity to study in Jerusalem, and it was while I was there that I decided I wanted to be a teacher, um, just because um, being exposed to so many different cultures and peoples and religions was um, very eye-opening for me, and I wanted to become a teacher um, to talk about that. And um, then I lived in Germany after that for two years, um, and um, now I've been here for about 10 a couple of things about me. I really enjoy the outdoors. I love hiking, anything to do with being outside. I also enjoy yoga and um, I travel every chance that I get. Um, a bit about the curriculum. Um, so sociology is the study of how human behavior is impacted by society. So we look at um, why people do things based on the environment that they're in. Rather than looking at the individual level and looking at what's happening in their brain, we look at the society that they lived on, live in and what are some factors that influence people. Um, we also look at how um, society perceives different groups and how these are shaped by societal structures and power structures. So we look in depth at some of these different groups. We look at race, we look at gender, um, social class, uh, all of these things, and the impact that societal views and societal institutions have on these groups. Uh, you can see our units of study there at the bottom. Um, we look into culture, socialization, gender socialization, race, social class, and deviance and crime. Um, the, um, a little bit about how this class is set up. Um, we have a lot of hands-on activities and social experiences. Um, it is a very hands-on class. The students are very active. It's not a lot of me talking at them. It's a lot of them participating, sharing their feelings and experiences, open and honest discussions. We do a lot of sociological observations. Sometimes these are real observations with people and other times we do it through film. Um, it is a lot of project-based assessments. We don't do a lot of traditional assessments in terms of quizzes and tests, but a lot of our assessments come from um, discussions or project creations or things like that. Um, it is an elective, so there is very little homework. The only time we do homework if there's, is if there's something that cannot be completed in the classroom environment or if a class was missed. Um, we also have the opportunity to work with George Mason University. Um, we have a guest speaker, a professor from George Mason coming in to speak with us. And additionally, we may have the opportunity to have a field trip to George Mason to hear from, um, to hear from the students at, um, to hear from the students at George Mason and the, to see kind of what their experience is like. Um, so some things that are really great about sociology is we are able to discuss some current events and issues that are extremely relevant to all of us. Um, it's one of the reasons I really love teaching social sociology. Um, here's a list of some of the things. Um, we talk extensively about the impact of social media, how it impacts um, teenagers and mental health, but also how it impacts how we view certain groups, especially when we talk about things like race and gender. Um, we will be talking about the, the Me Too movement. We'll be talking about um, the impact of gender socialization and toxic masculinity. We'll talk a lot about racial profiling and the criminal justice system, overcrowding in, overcrowding in prisons. We'll spend a lot of time talking about income inequality, homelessness and the impact that it has and some of the societal causes of that. Um, we also, when we talk about, and when we get into our gender unit, we will talk about how gender is shaped by society and gender identity. 
Um, we'll talk about how society has established the gender binary and how that can be problematic. We'll talk about sexual orientation. So we get to talk about a lot of issues that are very relevant to students. And um, it's, it's really great to kind of hear the different perspectives and experiences. Uh, a couple of the projects that we do, just so you get an idea. So currently the students are working on a project for our first unit where they have to create a video to convince the universities to fund the sociology department as many universities are dropping the sociology departments and social sciences in favor of um, STEM programs. So they have to create a video explaining why sociology is relevant and how it can apply in different careers. Um, they do another project where they look at how TV socializes us. So they have to watch a TV show and they have to look at how does it portray things like race and gender and social class and how is that impacting the people that view it and the way that they view those groups. Um, they make a public service announcement about a current issue um, with racism that needs um, attention drawn to it. Um, we have a project throughout the year called our Genius Hour Project where the students pick an issue that they are interested in, any kind of problem in our society, and they research it throughout the year. And then at the end of the year for our final, they um, present on their findings. Um, one of the kids' favorites project is a social norms violation where they have to um, go out and break some sort of social norm and see how people react to it. It's always really fun um, to kind of see... Um, the responses there um, are the grading and assessments for the class. Um, the, the class is heavily based on um, the stuff that we do in class. So 60% of the grade comes from processing. Um, so those are the day to day activities that we're doing in class. 40% comes from summatives that has to do with the projects, the discussions, interviews, things like that. Um, as far as attendance, um, it is very important that students are in class because a lot of the things we do, um, it's critical that we are able to be here and have the discussions and participate. However, I am understanding that students may be missing class. There are sometimes extenuating circumstances. If students are absent, they should be able to find everything posted in Schoology. I post a daily agenda so they can see what we've been working on. And if there are extenuating circumstances, I would encourage you to encourage your students to reach out to me. I can be flexible and I understand it can be really stressful if you miss a couple weeks of school due to an illness or something that's happening in the family. So I am happy to accommodate these students if they will reach out to me. Um, my contact information is on the screen. That is the phone number for my classroom as well as my email. The best way to reach me is by email. So if you have any questions about anything or concerns, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I will be happy to address those. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know.